She has a big heart, big wings, and a big commitment to restoring the magic to communities. Welcome to the Fairy Godmother Radio Show. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we're here with uh, our current mayor of the city of Newburgh, Judy Kennedy. And uh, we've got lots of uh, more great questions to ask. and Because uh, I think that people really want to know. And I'm going to just kind of start at the place of uh, when you first got elected, what were some of the, the conditions in the city? And uh, what do you feel that you've done to address some of those? Well, I think the biggest thing was this city was uh, a week and a half from bankruptcy in September of 2009. I remember that. And the whole Newburgh Fiscal Recovery Act had to be passed and we laid off a hundred people, a third of the city's workforce in 2009. Mm -hmm. and, and so what really got me into this was the fact that the taxes had then gone up in 2010 and 11 uh, at an astronomical rate. I mean people, nearly, they nearly doubled and, and I and everybody else was in pure panic. Mm -hmm. And so I think the first thing that needed to be done was stabilize, stabilize what was going on. And I think one of the things that, that we have accomplished here is for the last three years, uh, when we had control over the budget, we have kept the budget exactly flat. We haven't raised it one dollar. In fact, this last year we actually lowered our budget 1.2 million dollars. Uh, taxes have stayed pretty level with that, you know, it depends on your um, assessment, what your right. taxes actually are, but in terms of what we, what we can control, we have actually been able to hold that line. So, let me just ask you a question. I know some people would, uh, would actually say to you uh, that, that the taxes has pretty much stayed the way it is because the governor, uh, the governor's office has actually put a cap on uh, how much you can increase uh, the taxes and mm -hmm. so you know how, how would you address you know someone coming to you saying that well you didn't really do what the governor did it. Well every every um, municipality has the right to override that tax cap with a vote you know that. It's so, called the home rule. Right mm -hmm. so so we could have overridden that if we really felt that's what we wanted to do right. but it isn't what we wanted to do we all felt that really that, that everybody was taxed to the max and so so the goal has been to live within your budget, right? right? The governments need to live within their budget just like you and I. Right. There's a point where you just have to say you can't have a diamond ring. <laughs> you just have to do that. A girl can't have a diamond ring now. <laughs> so so uh, we have really been frugal and still try to meet the needs. For that first couple of years after that, you know, about all you could do is keep up the, 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 the very necessities, fire, police, you know, the DPW and keep them going. Now we begin to expand and get our uh, economic development going. Uh, right, so that, that was actually going to be my next question. In, in this, what, what do you feel is the three, just because we know that there are multiple, what are the three top priorities in the city right now? Um, Very easy. And, they're, and they, they circle around and, you know, one fix the other. And one is, is making it safe. So making sure that our police department is creating a safe community, and we'll talk about that. Cleaning it up, and that means buildings and streets, right? And economic development, that means bringing in business and jobs and, and creating a vibrant business environment. Right. And, and in, when you can do those three things, everything else falls out, right? Then you right. have some money to do other things and you can start you know, putting uh, the cherry on top. But you really got to focus on those fundamental things. Right. Those quality of life the issues are life very, issues. very important. Thank you for joining us. We can't wait to see you next time right here on the Fairy Godmother Radio Show, where we are restoring the magic to life and play. <laughs>